have some special guests in our studio with us this morning. We have Terry, we have Marianne, and good morning, ladies. It's good, good to morning. have you in here with us. How you doing? Doing well, thanks. Good, good. Get nice and close to that microphone when you guys talk. There we go. <laughs> Shuttle in. Okay, now, uh, special event that is coming up tomorrow uh, at uh, the Calumet Club. What is the event? Uh, what is the event called? It's the uh, second annual Main Journal Hospice Dance slash fundraiser. Okay, and uh, being the second annual, you obviously had one last year, which was successful. It so was. We had a blast. Oh, did you? Yeah. We're doing it again this year. Okay. Um, seven You're closer to the mic. We can't hear you. To there we go. Is social hour and eight to midnight. We'll be dancing with uh, music by DJ Matt James. Yeah, that's oh. right. That's right. So uh, this is to benefit, though. Uh, what is it to benefit? M Main General Hospice. Main General Hospice. Okay, tell us about uh, Main General Hospice, uh, Terry. Yes, Main General Hospice has been in the community for 26 years. We're the first Medicare certified hospice in the state, and um, we're a local nonprofit hospice, and we serve. Anywhere from Bingham all the way down to Richmond, and uh, oh. we have uh, several, um, count, you know, mostly Somerset County, Cat uh, some of Sagatahawk, and all of Kennebec County. So it's a wide area yeah, that right. uh, that you serve. And hospice, do you go to homes to help service people yeah. or help people um, that need, are in need of that? We go wherever the patient's home is. Yep. So if the patient lives at home, we are there to help support the person staying at home. Or if they live in a nursing home or a residential care facility, we are also there to help care for them there. Oh, okay. It depends on where their home is. About um, Probably about 30% of our patients live in nursing homes or residential care facilities, and um, the rest are at home. Now, do your volunteers for hospice all work uh, for Maine General? Uh, no, we have volunteers that are part of our organization from the Gardner office. Okay. But the ones in Waterville and Skowhegan are independent volunteer organizations that we contract with for the oh, volunteers. Oh, well, that's great. That's great. So we yeah. have nursing, we have social work, we have chaplain, we have um, nurses' aides, and volunteers as all part of the core group. And then we also have uh, physical therapy and OT and PT, uh, uh, speech therapy if needed. All right. But as our uh, something we offer that a lot of hospices don't is we also have. Massage therapy, music therapy, and art therapy. Oh, wow. that sounds good. Yeah, so yeah, yeah that sounds really good. And that's where our donation money comes in to pay for those kind of services, and this is why this uh, dance is so important because it gives us a lot of extra money to help pay for people that don't have insurance, right. but also people, you know, some of these ancillary services that we offer. that you're doing. Yeah, there. Okay, so the dance is coming up uh, this coming Saturday night at the Calumet no, Club. Tomorrow night. Friday uh, tomorrow night. night first. Tomorrow <laughs> night. Sorry, Friday night. <laughs> Uh, well, and if it's, you show up Saturday night and want to drop some money, some money. I'm, I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll take like. it anytime, absolutely. <laughs> but now besides the dance, I mean, are you going to have like uh, some auctions going on yeah, and things of that nature too? Uh, Get closer uh, to the mic. Sorry about that. We have a quilt <laughs> um, that I've made, a queen size quilt. We have a lamp quilt. We have gift cards from Cabela's, Roosters, uh, Red Barn, Laura Benedict, God love her. She's uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I know, and, yeah. Uh, I'd like to say thanks, especially to Roger Pomelo and the Augusta Marketplace for sponsoring this tomorrow night. Oh, okay. That's fantastic. And um, now, where, what about tickets? Can they be had at the we door? Do you get a. Okay, five bucks get, to head to get in. It's that's only five not, bucks to get that's in? That's really that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's really they good. They want you to save your money for the auction the items. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. Is the auction going to be a live auction, silent auction, or we a combination usually, of both? Uh, the Matt starts the music at 8, and last year we took a break at 10, about 20, 25 minute break. To, uh, you know, oh, to do the auction? Yeah, we did it right there. Does he play good music? And then it was he back to dancing. Oh, okay, just check Back out. to dancing. All right, guys. All right, well, good luck tomorrow. We appreciate it. We do have the info on our website. It is tomorrow night at the Calumet Club. And uh, check out B985.fm for more information about that. All right, good luck. Thanks Thank for you. coming Thank in. You. Thanks All right, for we appreciate it.